Welcome. Here's a quick video tutorial and demonstration to deploying our MFA VPN. We start off by grabbing RCDEV's repositories where we have the MFA VPN packages. Repository is publicly available at www.rcdevs.com repos. And let's just make sure that we got the packages or the repository. Yes, we did. Prepare a little bit our YUM installer, clean up the environment, update. And this is the cool part. Anyone can get MFA VPN without any registration. Just run yum install now to get it. Now we've got the MFA VPN packages and we'll set up the thing. We'll just locate the setup script from the view new directories that were installed. And there we have it, a setup program, which will run. Now every server wants a qualified hostname and the MFA VPN is making no exception. We'll just give it some descriptive hostname. Now here we assume we already have RCDEV's MFA server running the open OTP and our VPN tries to connect to it automatically. And we see that it's prompting for us to accept the automatic configuration within the OpenOTP part to link up the VPN server together with it. For that, we go to the MFA component user interface to approve our VPN to automatically link up and configure itself for the MFA support. Now that's done here, okay. And the installation completes. Although nearly all here happened automatically, we do have one step to make. To configure the network settings, that will be pushed to our end clients connecting through our VPN here. Which is something we can do in a file named openvpn.com. Scroll down to locate the right piece of settings. And we'll set our DNS as well as domain name in the respective few lines. That should do it. Just check that there's nothing else relevant that we should configure. Apparently not. So we'll save up and quit the file. Then for pure educational purposes, let's have a quick look into our MFA VPN configuration to see how MFA is set up on the VPN server. There we see the MFA server URLs, two for high availability. And that our VPN is now configured for universal two factor. And named descriptively, descriptively as an MFA VPN. Okay, so that's all there is to setting up a VPN with MFA, literally. What we now move on to do is to test things out. As with any client based VPN, we first need to create a client profile. That's nothing big to do, for that we look up client package command line tool and run it to create our client profile. Package is created, distributing is the last step needed. While here in our lab environment, we won't need to email around, just SCP to user Jan's desktop where we have VPN client to test with. And here we have it. Then to the desktop, next, to import the profile to viscosity VPN client in this case. And we're all finished. We could start logging in with VPN and say SMS one time password. But what we really want to try out is the unique universal two factor logon. So we sync up a UTF device, just for sake of example, with the administrator account. Click on register for UTF device. In our case, it is a YubiKey device. And it's registered. Just plugged in our YubiKey, gently pressed it, and that registered automatically to our account. 
Before hitting our test login, let's check out what our default authentication policy now is. We find that in a client named MFA VPN, which is the VPN server that we have, we have a default enforced authentication policy pointing to one-time password. So we move that to a U2F instead. Just to make sure all our settings of the, the VPN server setup have been applied, let's restart the MFA VPN server. So to the login. Start the VPN client, the Viscosity VPN client with the admin profile. Enter our administrator user credentials, active directory user name and password. And pow, we have a UTF prompt. Now we just plug in the UV key, gently press it, and we're ready. Just as a proof, yep, there we have it. VPN link is green, up and running. And it logs of the VPN client. We can be, see the details of the authentication that it's successfully completed and title is up. So we've done the cool UTF login now. Let's try out a few other ways of MFA. Back to the client policies. And to the enforced application settings, now with U2F, and we move that to MFA instead. We could have done this on a group policy basis as well, even on a user level if we needed to. But here in an example, it's just convenient to adjust our one client policy. So we choose a QR code registered one-time password token. In our case, the OpenOTP token application. We'll just scan it, and there we see it's registered already. Nothing else to do. Registering UTF device was pretty easy, but so was this. And we rerun our VPN connect again. Type in the administrator AD credentials. Hit OK. This time our app fires up, prompting our user administrator to confirm or deny the login. We approve, obviously, and our VPN link turns green again. We find some logs in the VPN client login, but actual details we can dig up from our MFA backend. In authentication logs here, for example, we see full trace of our first login with the YubiKey. There, we zoom in a little bit. Whereas the uh, push logins are again here. In both cases, the relevant line is the authentication success. And that's us making your logins easy, now also with the VPN connectivity. But otherwise, that completes our quick tutorial. Thanks for watching.